Let's take the next few minutes to focus on a woman who is changing the game. I'm talking about Gail King, host of CBS This Morning, queen of the big interview. But here's something you may not know. She started her career right here at WUSA 9. Bruce Johnson was her mentor, and he spent today in New York talking with Gail about her time with our news family and the call that changed her life. This is so weird that I'm sitting here and you're interviewing me. Yes. This is very weird to me. Right. Why, why is it weird? Because you should see, I learned so much from you. Channel 9. She's at the top of her game today, but I can recall Gail King started at Channel 9 while still a student at the University of Maryland. So I started as an entry-level production assistant. And during that time, I went, out on, I went out on stories, sometimes with you. She was selected into our reporter trainee program, which has sent dozens of minority and women reporters out into the world. On many a day, Gail was assigned to shadow me into D.C. streets and corridors of political power. And that's where... Wait a minute, hold on. We, we bonded. Got, we got, we got you treated me like a little black ant in the beginning. <laughs> we, we, but then when I got the reporter training program, then we bonded. I'm not even sure I remember your name before you got the reporter exactly, training. Right? Exactly. Yes, he is. I'm Gail King. Day two. Welcome Did to the Did you ever imagine CBS. that you'd be sitting where you are, doing what you're doing now, mm -hmm. having the influence that you're having? No, of course, I never thought that. And what's so interesting to me is this isn't a job that I ever sought. I was really happy. I love local news. I still love local news. I think it's the best training ground. I was in Connecticut. I was there, an anchor there for 18 years in Kansas City for three years. So I was a local news baby. I didn't have aspirations of even going to the network, to be honest with you. You know, at the time, I was working at uh, the Oprah Winfrey Network. I had a radio show. I was working at the magazine. I was doing some TV appearance, appearances, you know, uh, uh, doing interviews with different people. But, and then you get a call that just changes your life. And so I, I came here to CBS when they were starting the new um, CBS This Morning. 2012, I think. In 2012. You had a lot of success as, as a local anchor also in yeah. Hartford. Oh, I did. You, 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 were, you were the person in Hartford. I, I mean, I have followed you all the years. It's so funny, though, Bruce, when I first got this job, because a lot of people, if you weren't in Connecticut or you weren't in Kansas City, you certainly knew me as Oprah's best friend. And so when I first came to CBS, we would get mail that said, wow, it's amazing how quickly Gail King has caught on to this TV stuff. <laughs> wow, she's really learned a lot right, in right, such right. a short time. And I wanted to say, I've always had a job. I've always had a job. Right. Oprah's best friend. Did that ever bother you? No. I mean, and it still doesn't bother me. There's still a lot of people who know me that way because I, I say this all the time. I don't see myself standing in her shadow. I see myself standing in her light. And, and to be honest with you, who don't want to be her best friend? What about the stress of the job? Do you wear this? Do you take this home with you? Or do you leave it at work? How do you separate? Um, it depends on what the story is. Um, I wear my watch, my Apple watch, that can tell you your heart rate. Um, but, you know, I don't tend to take it home. I think about it a lot, but I don't sit and, and ruminate about it. I worry, this is what I worry about. I worry about the divide in this country. I worry about that. I don't worry about the stress of the job. I worry about what is happening to us as a country, that we are more divided and more polarized than we've ever been. That worries me, but I don't tend to take that home. I mean, I feel really privileged and honored to be here. It's a big responsibility. I never, ever take it for granted, and I don't take it lightly. Well, that'll do it for us. We'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy. I still absolutely love everything about it. We talk about getting real on this show a lot. And let me tell you, Gail and Bruce got real. You can see more of their interview on our website. I posted one part of it to my Facebook page, Leslie Foster WUSA, that involves Bruce hanging up on Gail. Seriously. Now, this was all part one of their conversation. We'll have part two tomorrow. And look for some clips early on your social media feeds. And then Bruce will be here with me tomorrow night on the News at 11.